Folks, one of my favorites, Tom Fitton, joins us. Been so right for so long on so much, president of Judicial Watch. He also happens to be one of the buffest guys in the Beltway. Uh, <laughs> no kidding, Tom. Hey, oh, Tom, welcome that. back. Hey, I don't know if you saw this, but Jenna hey. Ellis is saying that, uh, yeah, I mean, she's close to this process, of course. One of President Trump's attorneys uh, saying that it looks like Vice President Pence is poised to send slates of electors back to the state capitals and say, fix this. Have you heard this? And what do you think? Well, I think anyone who says they know what the Constitution requires and this can't happen uh, is blowing smoke in your ear. Yeah. And uh, on top of that, uh, uh, Vice President Pence has power that he can exercise. This is in a unique situation. You have both, member, both houses of Congress meeting together. So no one knows clearly what the parameters of his power is. Uh, for instance, you know, everyone says the objectors have to be voted on uh, in a majority way by the House, as opposed to the 12th Amendment way, which is a delegation by delegation vote. What, what will Vice President Pence do if the issue is raised with him? Uh, so this is the reason the left doesn't want this debate to happen, because they don't know how it will turn out. The American people want a fair and free election, and they're not getting one when you have six or, six or seven battleground states uh, count ballots illicitly that shouldn't have been counted, contrary to state law and the Constitution. So there's this thing that I thought I was so smart uh, talking about, the Electoral Count Act of 1887. That's it. And uh, it's, it, it, it specifies in writing that, you know, a member of the House and the Senate can come forward together in writing, make an objection to our debate. I've talked to some folks who think that that two hours can be stretched. You know, you could debate each electoral vote for two hours and this thing could go on for uh, weeks, potentially. Yep. But there are others who say, look, this thing is so obscure and weird, quite frankly, and contradictory that uh, Vice President Pence should dismiss it basically as soon as he shows up. Um, what's the answer? I think they have to consider the objectors uh, and the objections. You've got a member of the House and a member of the Senate. And as you point out, each state can be objected to each each category of electors. Uh, so you could get uh, at least uh, 14 hours of debate. Uh, and uh, again, the vice president is not presiding as uh, 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 president of the Senate. He's presiding over a, a, a unique constitutional meeting of Congress. And uh, he gets to, decide, he gets to decide what's up and what's down. And it's not clear how it's resolved. Anyone who tells you they know how it's going to turn out Potentially, perhaps the courts come in after the fact, and uh, that issue is litigated how it's being handled. Uh, I, I, if I were the president, I, I keep on pushing and pushing even past January 6th if rulings go against him in the House and the Senate. Uh, even past January 6th. Well, what are, his, what are his options after January 6th? Well, you raise questions about the oddness and the... Uh, uh, the incoherence of the electoral law uh, related to the handling of these electors and whether they conflict with the Constitution. Uh, so uh, if he gets the short end of the stick again, uh, he presumably can go back to court about it. Finally, what do you think of, uh, you know, Ted Cruz stepped forward along with a number of uh, Republican senators and uh, they're going to call for a commission to look into all of this. Quite frankly, there they are. Uh, I'm a little frustrated that... Um, they didn't step forward sooner, earlier in this process, but maybe there was a tactical reason why they waited so long. There are some very smart people on that list, um, but I, I, I noticed that there are several young ones who, who probably can imagine life after Trump and are thinking about 2024 and their own prospects. What do you make of what they have said publicly they want to do? Well, I think investigating what went on is is appropriate. I, I don't think it's as complicated as Senator Cruz and others are pretending, uh, not that he's pretending, but that, that they're alleging it to be. The question is, did Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, et cetera, did they break their own laws in certifying votes they shouldn't have certified? And did they count votes they weren't allowed to count 
under uh, the Constitution and their own state laws. And if that's the case, that's the difference between Biden's victory and Trump's victory. And they got to figure out, did Pennsylvania run their, their elections properly? Now, uh, the other uh, X factor, Greg, is the legislatures are now back. Yeah. They're back in session in a lot of these key states. So they can step up and, and uh, officially appoint alternative slates of electors. And if that happens, uh, no one's going to have any wiggle room. They're going to have to decide which slates to uh, 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 select. And uh, the president still has a, a slight shot of uh, getting a second term in those circumstances as well. Yeah, uh, man, I've been saying it's not over, and it certainly is not over. Hey, let's just talk. Well, it can't be it can't be over until we exercise all the options because they broke the rules to try to install Biden. And the idea that we would let that go by without objection and using every tool available to us under our constitutional system is not something I'd be willing to abide on. This isn't a matter of, this isn't a matter of politics. This is a matter of self-government. And, Tom, tell me more how offensive you find it. I find it incredibly offensive when the left, prominent people on the left, you know, are calling us traitors, accusing people of sedition. This is all written down. You can look it up in the 12th Amendment. There are provisions. There are paragraphs. They talk about having an acting president under certain scenarios, yet they call us traitors after what they did this summer. The left was planning to threaten uh, ha to have states secede from the union. If by if Joe uh, if President Trump had a clear cut victory, uh, so, I mean this is just garbage. Uh, the left was planning to use uh, the uh, constitutional processes th that the president is making use of now. Uh, it's it's using the rule of law to vindicate an election result under the law. It's it's the uh, it's it's the s sort of activity our founders wanted to have. Yeah. Please, everybody, check out judicialwatch.org. It's uh, a gem. And Tom Fitton, we thank you very, very much. All the best. Thank you.